All right, so also it's time to go do some yard sales. I know yard sales are kind of ending for the year. Rummage sales are quickly upon us. But we're going out doing yard sale things. So let's get into it. Last community yard sale, I guess, really of the year. Let's see. Gotta love it when people have sales two days in a row and there's still a lot of stuff on the second day and they're talking about how big of the sale was the first day and you're like, I missed it. She said 600 people came out. At that point, everything should be half off the second day. Prices aren't too bad, but there's not really like $5 for long handle tools. I mean, it's not an auction, but... You know, how many snow shovels you need? Basketballs. Oh, $2 a piece, sir. Okay. There's three on there. They yeah. were ten dollars but they don't cost them for anything. <laughs> yeah. I'll buy these two. Two of them? Yeah. It's 
one big fish up there. Fish. It's plural of fish. Fishes or fishies? Fishies. Fishes? Fishies. I'm already out there. There's only one there, so what am I even talking about? Alright, so I'm not throwing this really dirty whatever into my Jeep. What is this? Lots of rug. I don't know. Oh, it's just sopping wet. It's all faded, fortunately. It's unfortunately faded. I'll take this guy. Just, I don't know what the heck it is. It says free stuff. Take it all. I would take that if I had, what the heck? If I had my van. But I just cleaned out my Jeep and I don't want it to get all rusty. Don't want rust everywhere. Vacuuming up rust takes forever. Um, this is clean, so this won't be a problem. This is only, eh, it's probably a dollar fifty in scrap. Not a whole lot, but we'll get it done. I was about to say the truck is in the works, aka buying a truck, but I'm not buying a truck as of now. It's not in the works at all. Better yet, do you even know any history on them? Like, what are they? Are they like class rings or? Pay a dollar for a box and contents. Contents. All right, well, I made it back home. Seems like all my neighbors are also starting to mow their lawn right now, so it's still morning, but I guess it's kind of pure pressure to start getting things done around here. I'm trying to remember off the top of my head is when I kind of say, all right, I have to be done doing something weed whacking at some point, and I don't know if it was November 1st or October 1st. Kind of think it was November because I'm thinking of Thanksgiving, uh, but I got a couple things. Nothing really too crazy. Uh, basketballs, as always, you guys already know me buying basketballs. Uh, the bas the, the real basketball guy, the, the originator of the basketballs who wants them, just moved recently. So I'm really hoping he's still uh, the guy who I give it to, basketball guy. I hope he still wants them because I got two more. So that is really cool. I did pick up this. I don't, it's, you know, 25 cents for a nice half a pound of brass half a pound sounds a lot more than eight ounces but this is probably eight ounces uh it's got some weight so this is about a dollar something in scrap if you want to scrap it kind of cool it's a candlestick holder uh if you take this to the scrapyard just as this they're not going to give you one pound worth and i know at my scrapyard they don't really do like ounces so uh you have to have it by pound increments for any of these precious metals so to speak what is this Oh, that's probably from, I think this is from Goodwill. Yeah, that's from Goodwill. See, I didn't even take out my stuff from Goodwill, or uh, the thrift store video I posted last week. Uh, this stuff has all been in here prior to Wildwood, so I gotta still take out those. Still need to take out the jewelry. I had a couple people say, of course you would buy the cheapest one uh, out of all the bags. Uh, realistically, I mean... The one that was $15, I wouldn't say would be three times as good as this bag. So if I paid five bucks, I think I still got a great value for what I got. Um, yeah, that was that day. I still haven't gone through. I've been so, so busy recently. It's it's un unbelievable. Got a little addition to add to my Donald stuff. It's from 1988. Made by Applause. Walt Disney mugs. So that's kind of cool. I know they're... She had a couple of mugs there. They were only a quarter each. I'm going to add this to my bins of Donald stuff. Eventually, I've always mentioned, 
eventually down the line, I would love to build myself my own home office. I run my office out of my living room and uh, anyone who has a home office and does things and self-employed really wants to have their own room dedicated to it or really their own section. And uh, living in an old farmhouse, I just don't have that much space. Uh, so I, like I said, I've always wanted to have my own office and as someone who spends so many hours doing office stuff or home office stuff, it'd be really nice down the line to have it. But things aren't working out the way they should be, I should say that, this year. Uh, it's been really, really tough. Um, yeah, it's been really tough this year. So I, I don't know if that will be in the works for the future, but we'll see. Um, I picked up an angel. My mom was on this huge angel binge for the last couple of years, and uh, we went to thrift stores and we went... I got these shoes and stuff. Um, and this was only three bucks. And she picked up like seven angels, but she only wants certain kinds. I remember one was a tree topper and it had the porcelain head. Um, she didn't want just like the whole porcelain body. She wanted one with like an outfit. I don't know what she does. I don't know if she paints them or does something to them, but they're, they're getting harder and harder to find. This was $15 at Walmart at some time, probably in the mid 90s. Probably can find a date on here somewhere. Now, usually they would have the date on it, but that looks like a mid-90s Walmart sticker. So, times have changed. Also, I got out of this box. So, he had some other things there, some rings individually marked. This is probably just steel. It did have a, what well, looks like a sticker or something that was right in the middle. So, this is only a dollar for a whole box. I'll give these pins to my brother. Uh, Lehigh University pin. See what this is marked. It's marked something. I don't think it's marked 14 karat. No, it's marked 1988 PGA, maybe. No, some odd pins. Um, I really just wanted it for this one ring. Don't know if that is sterling. Uh, I can say it's sterling just because no one out there will correct me and I can say it's marked but I don't see a marking so I'm not going to say it's sterling but it really does look like it. it looks like that uh is Navajo the right era it's kind of nice it's got a star on it Dosh Ockfest <laughs> that is kind of funny seeing that Dosh Ockfest thing and the reason why I say it's funny so yeah that's, that's pretty cool I got it for the ring and uh, I don't even know where the ring. Oh, there it is. Um, there's a dollar for the whole thing, so I mean, I get two dollars for this Lane Cedar chest box. Um, it was funny. I say it's funny because of the Dosh Ockfest thing. Is the last time I went to their community yard sale, which was I think two or three years ago. Um, I did skip it, so that this community yard sale happens, I guess, twice a year. They had it the same day as that. It's not the VNA rummage sale, but the other large rummage sale that I went to. Um, I think it was up in Broadheadsville. They had it the same day, and it rained that day. So I don't know if this was like a makeup day or it's their second time this year. Uh, but the last time I went to this solely to just this community yard sale in the spring summertime, I picked up three bins of all 1980s and 1990s car show T-shirts, and uh, there were so many Das Ox Das Ox Ockfest Das Ockfest. I had it right, I think, the first time before I even started trying to say it. Um, they had so many of those t-shirts, so it's kind of funny seeing that pin there because it's like, hey, I went to your community yard sale and bought two bins worth of just this event, and now I find a pin for that the same day. But it's been fun. Thanks for tagging along. I think that is the last community yard sale I'll probably be attending this year uh, just because everyone's back in school now, and uh, days are going to get shorter very soon. So I don't know how many people are going to really be running yard sales or garage sales. Someone else is running a weed whacker. Uh the peer pressure of being an adult to do yard work. Anyway, thanks for tagging along. If you guys enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe down below for more treasure hunts. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.